Thank you. Hey, everybody. Greetings. Greetings, greetings. How are you? How's everybody doing today? I'm really, really excited uh, to come with you to a, come to you with another video. Um, this one's a little different because um, this one is going to be more hands-on. We'll have some fun. Going to talk about skincare. I'm going to do a demonstration so you can see how to keep your skin glowing. But first, please like this video, share, subscribe, share it to your friends. I want to kind of start a new thing with with us together, where when we can like do things hands-on, using the things that you already have in your house. Um, things that you have around you to help you. You don't always have to go to the store and buy things. You don't always have to uh, go outside of yourself, but there's a lot of tools around you that could help to improve your skin, your mind, your body. And I want to show you some things that I do personally, and I'm going to do a demonstration of what I do personally to maintain my skin. Y'all, I got a lot of melanin, <laughs> as you already know. So I got I to gotta take care of it because melanin likes certain things. And if we don't know how to take care of our skin and our melanin starts to act up, we're like, whoa, what's going on? So I'm going to demonstrate to you how you can use sea moss and some other natural ingredients to have really nice skin. Y'all like my skin, y'all? Y'all like it? Yeah, part of skincare is eating good and being happy. I'm going to say being happy is going to be the first thing. Um, the second thing, you know, eating good, rest. And then the third is just doing your skincare regimen. So uh, please head over to Soul Tribe Heels to get your Caribbean Jamaican sea moss. And um, we are going to get into this. And I'm going to show you how to have some beautiful skin with sea moss. So first thing I like to do, um, first thing I do is I cleanse with black soap. This black soap I've gotten for a friend. I don't have mine yet, but we will have some on the website soon. So we'll try heels. So the first thing I do is I, I cleanse. Um, you know, in our tradition, the first step of healing is always cleansing, right? So the same will go for your skincare. Now, your skin is your largest organ on the body. And people don't realize that what you put on your skin gets into your body. So what we put on is very important. In addition, how you do it is important. So in the morning when I get up, one of the things that I do is that I, um, when I'm doing my facial regimen, I'm giving thanks to the divine. I say, oh, yeah, yeah, you're so beautiful. Oh, I just love you. You're so wonderful. Oh, your skin is so beautiful. It's so clear. It's so amazing. It's so awesome. And this is just black soap, y'all. But if you have your own cleanser, use that. Right? And I do upward motion circles because I want to stimulate cellular regeneration. I'm a licensed esthetician, y'all, for over 10 years. So skincare is my thing. I used to be a Mac Pro artist <laughs> as well, <laughs> working from Mac. So you know I better know how to cleanse my skin because I make it this heavy, 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 heavy. All right. So the first thing we want to do is cleanse. Use your natural cleanser. Some people like to use Castile soap. Um, black soap works good for me, but you got to find out what works good for you, right? So we're going to cleanse. Don't forget your lips, ladies, especially if you wear lipstick and lip liner because that tends to get stuck around here. And some people have what they call those little pimples or comedones around there. But you just want to make sure you wash that as well, especially you use those non-removable lipsticks, which is where when we wear a mask, you know, you don't want your lipstick to come off. We may use that. So yeah, let's do that. So make sure you pay attention to your lips around your nose. And at this time, I'll be like chanting a while. And I will say, you know, yeah, you're so beautiful. I love you. Your face and your skin is healed. Thank you for my eyes, universe. You've given me eyes to see, so I use my eyes. Thank you for my nose that I can sense. Thank you for my mouth and my tongue, my teeth. I give thanks. They're all beautiful and fully functional. And I love you. I love you. I love you. So I'll do like, I'll do two rounds of that. Not in the morning, two rounds in the evening. Because in the morning, I don't have much residue on my face. I've only been sleeping. So I'll do that and I will rinse thoroughly with a clean cloth or just with water. And I can be very gentle around my eyes because that area here, these are easily to be, um, can easily break the capillary. So people with darkness underneath their eyes can do to a lot of different things. Dehydration is one, kidney issues is another. But sometimes we just, we rub our eyes through allergies and it kind of gets bruised a little bit. So we gotta be careful around our eyes. So then I would 
Give thanks for the universe for my beautiful face. Thank you for I have eyes to see and ears to hear, a nose to sense. Oh, my meditation is part of my life. Like, you know, washing my face, washing my body. I'm always giving thanks. And you know what I would say? I said, thank you, universe. I'm the most beautiful person in the world. Because to me, I am. <laughs> and to you, you should be too, right? <laughs> So the first process is that we cleanse, we cleanse, we cleanse, we cleanse, right? So, doing that, clean, 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 cleanse, 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 upward motion, water, all right, all right. So, now that I've cleansed my skin, my skin was already clean, y'all, so I won't do two cycles of this i'll just do one all right so that's done and that feels really really good all right now we're all clean now we can put our mask on now this sea moss mask i use twice a week because it helps to hydrate it helps to tighten it helps me to really um keeps my skin very clear and i combine my sea moss with other ingredients as well all of which you can get at your local grocery store. You don't have to spend a buku money, but you can um, really get a good facial just using our sea moss. So the first ingredient of our mask, which we're going to make now, sea moss. Our sea moss is wild crafted. It comes from the beautiful island of Jamaica and it smells and tastes really good. So the same sea moss that you would take internally, you can put on your skin. It's good for burns. It's good for rashes. Anybody who's suffering with um, acne, this is great. Skin is dry, this is great. Skin is imbalanced, try this recipe. It's a little slow. Let me try to see if I can uh, get us back on. All right, we're back live. Yes, we are. Give me one second, family. Let me turn that off so I can see y'all. All right, perfect. So now the best thing to do with your sea moss mask is start with your sea moss. I'm going to use our sea moss. Smells amazing like the ocean. I'm going to use our sea moss along with a little bit of bentonite clay. Shout out to Miss Sania for giving me some bentonite clay. I haven't found it here in Mexico, but she had some. So I was really excited to, uh, to use it. And we have a special guest for this mask. Dun, 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 dun. Our lovely papaya. What? Papaya. Why are we using papaya? Let's talk about these ingredients real quick. So sea moss is for hydration. It's for um, building the elasticity of the skin, for moisture, for balancing the skin. Um, it's really good for anything that's um, inspired by inflammation. What is that? Acne, eczema, psoriasis. Put some of this on top, but also take it on the inside. Now, the bentonite clay is very drawling. It pulls out impurities. It pulls out things that are um, stuck within the pores, stuck in your skin. And it allows you to really get a good deep clean. So I love bentonite clay for that reason. This, you want to mix a little bit of water before you get started because it can get kind of um, clumpy. And you want to make sure the water is cold. Now, the papaya, which we'll use now, this is actually good for exfoliation right? So the enzymes that are that's in this papaya is called papain. And papain is good because it works like little Pac-Man and it eats away sort of the dead skins on your, on your face. So your skin can be radiant. So it can be beautiful. And what we call in the esthetician world, desquamate. That means just shed. So if your skin is looking dull, dry, patchy, you may need to exfoliate and you can use papaya to exfoliate your skin. So we're going to mix these three ingredients together. And honestly, all three together, less than, I mean, per serving size, less than two bucks, really. Oh, well, maybe three or five. <laughs> but this is going to make an amazing face mask, and I'm going to show you how to do it. So the first thing I like to do is take my bentonite clay, right? And we want to dissolve it in just a little bit of water because this can clump up. Remember, our clay is what brings, uh, what pulls out the toxins out of our skin. It draws out. So acne, you want to need it. Um, discoloration, you're going to need an oily skin like I have, and you want to draw out that excess oil, you want to work with some bentonite clay. It's easy. You can get it at the health food store, order online, $5, Amazon Prime, get it in two days, right? So I'm going to take my clay, 
and add a little bit of water to my clay. I do this first because like I said, this clay can easily clump up if it's um, before you get started. So I don't want that. And actually, you don't want to use metal. Let me use my finger. And I don't want that to happen. Y'all put your questions in the comments. Hey, Miss Selena, how you doing? <laughs> yes, you said thanks for sharing. Your skin always looks good. I have some clay under my sink. I've been meaning to use. Yes, let's get to that clay. Let's get to it. Because this clay you can also take internally. And as it draws out toxins on the surface of the skin, which is the largest organ, it can also draw out toxins from the internal of your skin, right? So we want to use this clay as often as we can. We're not feeling well. We can mix it in some water. Um, zeolite is a good clay to use as well. Quite more expensive, but it's a good one to use as well. This clay is kind of messy, but I love it. Hey, Miss Sania. Shout out to Miss Sania, y'all. She hooked me up with this bentonite clay because <laughs> I wasn't able to find it. And so now I'm just dissolving a little bit of my clay in water. It's going to be clumpy. It's going to be clumpy, but that's okay. But listen, y'all, don't use metal. Don't use metal for bentonite because I told you it draws. That will deactivate your clay. So don't use metal in this recipe. Use your fingers. Use a metal spatula, a twig, a stick, plastic if you want to. I just use my fingers, y'all, because, you know, it's just easy. So I mix that up. So my clay is mixed already. Bam. Then I'm going to take a scoop of sea moss and throw that in here. Our sea moss is wild craft. It comes from Jamaica. It's great for hydrating your skin, great for inflammation. It's great for dryness. It restores um, the natural elasticity into the skin. So you know me. I got about a two teaspoons here, and I'm going to throw that in with my clay, right? Have fun with this. The reason why I use my fingers a lot, because my energy is actually programming. <laughs> hey, Jeremy, welcome. My, my energy is actually programming this face mask. And when I make all medicines, I speak to it. I say, thank you for your healing essence. Thank you for the love. Thank you for your essence. I am the most beautiful woman in the world. I am prosperous. When I show up, um, the sun shines. When I show up, because um, we're working with the face, I am, I am healed. I am sustained. So now when I put this on my face, it's already programmed to do something amazing. <laughs> this is how I keep my skin nice, y'all. This is a little cheat code. So now I'm mixing, 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 using my fingers. Welcome, Jeremy. <laughs> uh, Jeremy wants to know, am I initiated into the tradition? Jeremy, I am a Karmanti healer. My initiation came from my family. I was born and raised in this tradition. So there was no initiation per se in terms of a process, but this is my culture. So I'm going to answer your question to the affirmative and say, yes, honey. Absolutely. Absolutely. Any questions you have about um, my tradition, I'll be happy to answer. So now I've mixed my clay with my sea moss. It's going to be a little lumpy, but that's okay because we're having fun, right? So remember the sea moss is for hydration. It's for helping to your, your cells to be restored. It's for um, hyperpigmentation, which are dark marks. It's for dryness and it helps to balance out the skin. Now the clay helps to draw out impurities, draw out excess oil, excess dirt that's deep within the pore, right? Now the third ingredient we're adding to this mixture is papaya. Papaya, 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 I got this this morning from the Mercado. I'm very excited. The reason I'm using papaya because I want that exfoliating action. That papaya uses that wonderful papain enzyme. And I'm just going to take a piece like this and, and mash it up, 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 and put it in my um my mixture. Huh? Huh? And I'm going to mash it up because those enzymes in that papaya, guess what it does, y'all? Guess what it do? It eats away the dead skin cells. So your skin is going to be radiant. The enzyme is called bromelain. Bromelain. No, that's pineapple. Papain. Excuse me. Papain. And these are some easy natural ways you can maintain your skin. This is some easy ways you can just do it using nature. And I'm telling you, once you do this, you're going to be like, I, I'm never buying anything from the store. I've been a licensed esthetician for over 10 years. Shout out to the estheticians in the world. Hey, y'all. Shout out to you. And so I've been making skincare for a long time. But now I'm in Mexico and I have so much available to me. So I'm like, let's look around. Let's play around. Let's show us how we can take back our health and our wellness through nature. It's all around us. So let's have fun with it. 
All right, so now we got our mixture. Hey, wild love living. Hola. <laughs> yes, estamos aquí in Mexico. We're making a small space mask. And he's like, you're soaking your to make some gel. Well, when you get a chance, wild love living, go back in our video and see the recipe that I'm giving to try to make your own face mask. So now I have my face mask made. It's going to be a little loose, but that's okay. And so we want to mix, 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 mix. And now it's time to apply. Now, when I do this, this is the fun part. I get to set an intention yet again. So I set an intention when I put it together. And now as I'm applying it, I'm, I'm saying a prayer. Um, I know growing up, being the darkest one in the family was not the thing. It was like, oh, no. So I had to work through a lot of self-esteem issues with my skin. Later on, suffered acne and other skin-related conditions. And if you've ever taken my class, you know what skin represents. And so I've learned to, um, to heal myself naturally. As you can see, I no longer have acne scarring, no longer have the eczema, but it's been a process and I'm gonna show you what I do. So uh, I'll just take a moment to hold space for my new creation that's now in my hands. And I just wanna thank the divine for her love, for her support in my life, my ancestors, those who have shown me the way, who have been the light in the dark place. I wanna thank you. And as I show up, dealing with skin. As I show up in this world, may you continue to get the love and the support in our lives that we deserve. And may I know that I am beautiful each and every day and I love myself. I am, I am supporting myself. I'm healing myself moment by moment and I'm having fun. And I want to say thank you to all the benevolent forces around me. Ashe, ashe. Okay. So now I program my CMOS. So now I want to just place my seamers on my face. Ooh, I just want to put it on my face. Oh, I love this bentonite. Ay, ay, ay. It's so cooling. So cooling. Young people can do this. Older people, all people should do this. My husband, he'll do it. I'll ask him. He'll, he'll put some on. Um, but it feels so nice. That papaya smells amazing. Oh, that papaya. I love it, love it, love it. It feels so good. And so as I'm putting it on, I'm just, you know, just allowing it to do what it do. And it feels really good. Oh, yeah. Especially here in Mexico, it was hot, 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 hot. I'm often trying to find ways to cool down. <laughs> oh, this helps. This helps because I'm often in the sun. Now, there's a question about this sunscreen thing. And y'all let me know y'all's thoughts on it. Like, should people of Melon Nation put on sunscreen? I mean, my ancestors ain't put on sunscreen, so I'm trying to figure out why. <laughs> I know the sun is super strong and I know they talk about global warming, but y'all, I don't use sunscreen. I got too much melanin, my opinion, to use it. Um, my ancestors live in hotter places than this and they didn't, um, they never used it. In fact, there are some places here in Mexico called cenotes, which are like sacred healing waters. You can't go in there with sunscreen on. They won't permit you to because it destroys the environment. It, it disrupts the ecosystem. Yeah, it disrupts it. So they won't even let you put sunscreen on. So I don't know what that's about. But anyway, y'all let me know. Hey, Zakaya. Hey. She says, finally, the secret to your gorgeous skin. Yes. I use CMOS. <laughs> I use CMOS. And uh, now I'm using the bentonite clay because now I have some. Thanks to Miss Ania. Uh, shout out to Miss Ania for the bentonite clay plug here in Mexico. So you just place that on your skin. And I used to have acne prone skin, very oily skin. So that bentonite clay goes right in it, pulls it from the pore, from the epidermis, of course, and pulls that excess oil out and pulls all of the excess so that you can have beautiful glowing skin. That bentonite clay is the truth, y'all. So this is what I would do twice a week. And as a licensed esthetician for over 10 years, I still see that the most um, best products are gonna be the natural products, hands down. I mean, I work for MAC. I work for, well, MAC is an Estee Lauder company. Other companies for Estee Lauder, um, Shiseido, um, Fashion Fair. I work for Fashion Fair. I work for Elizabeth Arden at one time. Um, just these different cosmetic brands. And nothing has trumped natural skincare. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It does it. It just does it. I mean, it'll give you that look, but that feel that your skin really enjoys you want to go natural. So I'm just doing a little massage because I want to move off that lymphatic and that lymph. I want to move that as well as part of your detox. And remember that your, um, what's detoxing this? Our bentonite clay is detoxing our skin. 
right? Areas on the cheeks that are inflamed or breaking out might be, might be due to poor digestion. So if your cheeks are like breaking out or you're constantly having breakouts on your cheeks, it may be because the digestion may need support. So if you're constipated, you're going to see it here. Areas of breakout along the chin. Oh, especially my ladies. My ladies, the chin. For anywhere from here over to this side. We're looking at issues of hormone imbalances. When we see breakouts along the chin and the jawline, a lot of times when our menstrual cycle is getting ready to start, we'll have a breakout along the chin area. That's how you know the hormones are changing. Um, do you know anything natural to lessen or get rid of facial hair? Good question, Talina, Miss Talina. So where is the facial hair located? Is it here, like sideburn-wise? Is it on the chin? Is it on the lip? Let me know because each area will tell us what's going on in the body, depending on where the hair, excess hair growth is going. So let me just go down the list. So if it's here, you know there's some hormonal imbalance that's, that's going on here. If it's chronic, like the little chin hairs, your hormones just probably need to be balanced out. And you can use, of course, sea moss to help with that. Um, Sideburns. Sideburns could be a sign of PCOS, which is polycystic ovarian syndrome um that means that you're you're definitely going on something's going on with the uh reproductive organs dealing with the ovaries so we need to get to that like if it's a lot sometimes they call it hirsutism and um in the esthetician work called hirsutism and that's because a polycystic something is going on so we need to address any gynecological issues that's present to get that down um i would recommend staying off of meat I would recommend uh, staying off of sugar, processed foods, speak to a qualified healthcare provider who knows women's bodies very, 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 very well to help to balance out the hormones um, and what needs to be balanced out. I will look at any emotional, emotional problems such as sexual abuse, um, issues of low self-esteem, low confidence. Um, I will look into the bloodline, definitely. So hirsutism is definitely something that could be fixed but it's an emotional, um, spiritual, lower chakra issue. So when you see those excess hairs, we know we got some work to do on our root chakra and our um, sacral chakra as well, in addition to balancing our hormones and things like that. Yeah, yep, 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 yep. Wild love living. Yeah, you worked, you worked for Aveda. I always wanted to work for Aveda. I've always <laughs> worked, wanted to work for Aveda. But now we have my own Aveda with the Soul Tribe. So y'all head on over to Soul Tribe Heels to get your herbs, your sea moss, and um, other healing herbs that we have going on there. Because natural is the way, y'all. I mean, those chemicals, they can give you a quick fix. But sometimes those quick fix, they catch, up, they catch up to you. And I used to be a quick fixer back in the day. You know, you want everything to be fly and nice, but we got to go with nature and she teaches us patience, patience with ourselves and patience with our own healing journey. So it's good to go with her flow. And so we're going to let this mask sit for a little while. You're welcome, Miss Talina. You're welcome. And Miss Talina, I've seen this often when I had my own spa, my own practice, women with a lot of hair on their face or um, excess hair, I should say. And it always was an emotional situation. It always was a, either a sexual abuse or abuse of marriage or abuse of parents. It was always there. And so I really encourage women um, when they used to come to my spa, you know, I would talk to them about a lot of their, um, their, like their childhood. They're laying on the table. I'm talking about their, <laughs> their mother wounds and father wounds um, to get to the root of to why these things are imbalanced in their body so that they can show up in the way they want to show up. Your face is about showing up. Your face is about showing up. Up, how you want to uh, present yourself to the world. And when I look at someone's face, I mean, I'm taught in my tradition, um, you can look at someone's face and see a lot of what's going on in the body. I just shared with you what, what it looks like when you have poor digestion. You can see the little, you know, teenagers have the breakouts on the cheek. It's because they're eating junk. They stop eating junk. That'll clear up, right? Forehead, liver, you know, kidneys, underneath the eyes. A lot of people have bags underneath their eyes. They have... Um, maybe some swelling. And they're like, Sister Yaya, what can I do about this underneath my eyes? Well, that can be due to a lot of issues. Some could be hormonal, um, dealing with your kidneys for sure, for sure. Underneath the eyes represents the kidneys and the kidney, um, the kidney area. So if there's excess worry, not enough water, 
dehydration is usually the number one reason or the kidneys in balance. And if the kidneys in balance, you know, the heart's going to be in balance because those two are brothers and sisters. Excuse me. So if that's the case, then we know we need to look at the heart, the heart area, the heart shock or the heart health. And, you know, we have herbs and things like that for it as well. So I'm going to let this mask sit for a few minutes. Um, about 10 minutes. Let me give it about 10 minutes um, to sit, give the clay a time to draw out the impurities and allow the papaya to go in like little Pac-Man and eat away the dead skin cells. This is a very safe facial. Anybody could do it. Um, it's fun. It smells good. It feels good. If you don't have access to papaya, you can use uh, pineapple. Pineapple contains bromelain, which does the same thing, ease away the dead skin cells, allowing your skin to feel radiant, allowing it to feel beautiful. You can even use, um, we call it chocho, but chayote. Um, and what do they call it in the cell? Damn. Mm, damn. If y'all know what it is, let me know. It's that green squash. Oh, it's that malacom. Malacone, not malacone. Anyway, this like a green squash you can use. That also has the same enzymatic effects of breaking down um, dead skin cells and washing away. So we've combined our, for those who just joined us, our sea moss gel from Soul Tribe Heals. Absolutely important for cellular regeneration, for cooling down inflammation, eczema, acne. Put it on your skin. It hydrates. It brings your skin back to life. And then we use bentonite clay for the drawing, to pull out impurities, like a detox for your face, we use that. And then we mix with it some papaya. Now, if you don't have papaya, remember, you can use pineapple, but you wanna use fresh. Don't get anything canned or even frozen because that's, those enzymes are gone by the time you get it. So even the little piece of papaya, um, might be a little expensive, go ahead and get your little piece. Um, and the rest you can eat, cause I'm gonna eat that once we finish here. Um, and then put it on your face. We're gonna let this sit for about, well, for the sake of this uh, live, we're gonna let it sit for maybe about 10 minutes or so normally, and then we're gonna rinse off. Skincare is so important. Remember, skin is the largest organ, largest organ in the body. What you put on your skin goes in your body. Perfumes, deodorants, all of these things have to be considered if you're not, if you're trying to heal your body, what you putting on your skin? What's going on, right? If you have a lot of melanin, here are some herbs I recommend that you take to preserve your melanocytes. Melanocytes are the cells that produce melanin. Melanocytes are located in your eyes, on your tongue, in your ears, in your nervous system. Melanin is not just on the outside, it's on the inside. It's like that superpower um, cell. In fact, if you can Google right now, you can see that melanin actually has a market. There is a market for melanin where they're selling it. How are they getting it? God knows but they are selling melanin as like the elixir of life um, because it helps you to see better. It helps you to hear better, taste better. It's really good for your um, your muscles, your bones, your, your superpowers, your knowing of yourself is this melanin. And so herbs that are helpful to restoring melanin are gonna be these. Okay, so get your pen and paper or come back to this video, like, share, subscribe. Come back to this video because you wanna have these herbs no matter what you got going on in your life. Number one. Number one herb, soursop leaf. Soursop leaf. It is a protector and it also helps to aid if you use it in a certain way with PTSD recovery. So if you've gone through a stressful year, I know I had last year where we lost our house to the hurricane and my, um, my first husband was murdered and I had to deal with that and other things and moving to a new country, I relied heavily on the ally of soursop. Oh, and she came in and she said, but baby, sit down right here. Mama's here. I got you. I got you. So I take soursop every day as a tea. It helps me to sleep. It helps to relax my nervous system. It helps me to feel grounded. But it goes in and repairs cells that were broken, destroyed due to stress and trauma. It repairs your nervous system. So now you can start to think clearer. Now you can start to feel the, the beat of your own drum again. It takes time, but soursop is a good one for melanated people. It's also good for those who have suffered or want to prevent cancer, tumors, and cysts. Telena, we talked a little bit about polycystic um, ovarian syndrome just a second ago. Soursop will be a number one herb you want to be on, not you or the person, every day. Every day, get that shrink, shrink those tumors down, shrink those cysts, and get them out the system, all right? 
Sarasat, we do have that on our website. We have the tincture at soultribehills.com. And soon the actual herb will be available. So please, by any means, get you some Sarasat. Get your kids on it. Get your grandparents on it. Get your family on it. It's really, really good for immune health as well. You won't get sick on Sarasat, I assure you. And your nerves will be feeling good. Okay, so Sarasat. Secondly, go to cola. Go to cola. G O T U K O L A. G O T U. That's one word. Next word. K O L A. Wow. Why do we talk about go to cola? Go to cola is amazing. It works specifically with melanin and melanocytes, specifically. Where melanocytes have been broken or they're not functioning as they should, it helps to restore um, your melanin, right? Great for PTSD and trauma. Great for chronic pain. It helps to restore your mind. It helps to bring back part of your consciousness. So if you're trying to work through mental and spiritual things with you or your clients or your family, go to Cola helps to restore the melanin. And it helps to me when I use it. I feel like it does a little DNA activation as well. That's go to cola. You can get that at any herb shop um, online. Always go organic or wild crafted as much as possible. Go to cola is another one that you want for your um, your health, your melanin, your skin. Remember, melanin is everywhere. It helps you to see. It helps you to feel. It helps you to know yourself. Um, here in Mexico, it's quite often when I walk around, they're like, "Wow, um, your skin." And a guy told me today. He's like, you know, a white guy from Canada. He's like, you know. You people, as in melanated people, he's like, you people have like the best skin. Your teeth is the best. Your muscles is the best. You know, I really, you know, my people, we don't have all these things. I guess non melanated Well, everyone has melanin, but lesser melanated people. And he said, it's just beautiful. It's just beautiful. And it's because of the melanin. It's a superpower. It is a superpower. Let me tell you. Uh, while I love living as, do I suggest the leaves? over the tincture for specific reasons. No, I don't. I, I'm a tea drinker. So I always, my first thing is to boil the leaves because I'm used to the tradition. I'm used to the, the the ritual of making tea. If you know Caribbean people, anything that goes on with Caribbean people, they'll tell you, go drink tea. It don't matter. You could be pregnant, your foot needs amputated, go and drink a tea. That's what we always would say. So I'm so used to the ritual of tea making. So I like the leaves, but if I'm having a pinch or I'm traveling, tincture, hands down, take it and going about my business when I'm in a rush. But when I have time, I prefer the tea because I'm also getting the water. That's personal preference, but the effects are the same. The feelings are the same, no different, no different at all. So hopefully while I love living, that answers your question. Thank you so much. So now we have Sarasat now and we have Go to Cola now. The third one is gonna have to be sea moss. Listen now, I, we would love for you to purchase our sea moss at soultribehills.com, but if you have your own, Take it every day. Take it every day. Sea moss is going to be the most nourishing, nourishing, nourishing herb that you can take. Anyone who's wasting, who's not eating, who's just not feeling well, sea moss, sea moss, sea moss. You can live off of sea moss for your whole life and eat nothing else. That's how nourishing. And you will have excellent health and excellent strength and, ha and have nothing else. I make my son's, uh, well, his then baby formula at that time, using sea moss, coconut milk, dates, adding some herbs, probiotic whole deal. Boy is strong as an ox. Wise, wise, wise. This also helps to repair your nervous system. It also supports your um, melanocytes, melanogenesis, which is the, the birth of new melanin, because that's what you need for your superpower. So sea moss is very, very, very important. Where you get it is important as well, the source. But take two teaspoons, excuse me, two tablespoons a day in your water, soup, coffee, tea, however you need to take it. Take your sea moss. Women and men with sexual issues, reproductive issues, sea moss. You gonna need it. <laughs> hey, Beatrice, welcome. Um, mental imbalances, sea moss and sour sap. <laughs> Those two and go to cola. It would help to get your mind straight. And these are the, this is the wisdom that that's left from our ancestors. This is the knowledge that they've left us the keys to help heal ourselves in times such as these. When they knew in their times and this time, they knew that, damn, our ancestors, our, our, our generation is going to need to know how to use medicine, the plant, the land to heal ourselves in times of war, in times of difficulties and stress. What can we do to help the mind, the body? We naturally have melanin. Everybody has melanin. Some are more than others. Activate that. 
That's a superpower. One of the things I do when I'm showering and I'm washing my face or I'm showering, I'm activating my, my melanin. I say, I thank you, divine, for this divine body that it is healed, that it is whole. I activate my superpowers. I thank you that my mind is whole, my body is whole. Thank you that my heart, my, my womb, Everything that I'm touching, I'm soaping up and I'm rinsing. I'm thanking the divine for everything. It's a ritual, family. This is a ritual. Your bathing is a ritual. Your skincare, everything you do is ritualistic. And if you will take it that um, approach to it, knowing that everything you do is a ritual, and you add a little magic to it, you will see that your life will start to manifest things in miraculous ways that maybe you never thought possible. Just by adding a positive word to when you're washing your face. I say I'm the most beautiful person in the world. Not because I'm hating on nobody. Because that's how I want to feel about myself. <laughs> I say I'm filled with joy. I thank God for my melanin. My eyes. They got have eyes to see, ears to hear, nose to sense, a, a mouth to smile, teeth that, that are beautiful. I thank the universe. And the more I do it, the more beautiful I feel. The more inspired I feel. I do it in the morning to program my day. And I do it at night to program my sleep. The daytime programs my conscious mind. The nighttime programs my subconscious mind, right? All of this is magic. Nothing in your life has to be mundane. <laughs> Nothing. Everything can be magical, right? So now it looks like my mask is going to dry. And it's going to tighten up. And I'm going to tighten maybe itchy a little bit. And that's okay because that's just the bentonite clay that pulls and is drawing out. So it looks kind of um, dry and ashy a little bit. That's how you want it, y'all. That's you want that. You want this type of ashiness. Trust me. Uh, looks like I got a little papaya in there, but that's okay. So now it's about the time for me to rinse this off because it's about dry. And I'm sitting by the window, so the ocean air is just helping everything to be wonderful. And I'm thanking the universe that I have eyes to see. I'm telling you, y'all, program your skincare. Program it. Program it. Every you brushing your teeth. Thank you that my teeth are healthy and strong, cavity free. My gums are healthy and strong. Uh, and I'm taking care of my teeth, blah, 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 blah. You tell the universe, thank you for everything. And watch it grow. Watch it grow. So now I have a bowl of clean water. And I have my washcloth that I'm going to use to wipe my face. And I'm just going to gently press some water onto my skin. Now, I'm not an advocate of rough skin care at all. Not at all. The gentler, the better. That's why I like to use the natural ingredients. So I just kind of wet my skin a little bit because that clay, <laughs> you all find out that clay, it don't want to go nowhere. <laughs> so you got to help it out a little bit. So I just rehydrate it and say, hey, I'm coming to wipe you off and I'm coming. And so let it know that you're coming. So when you go to wipe, it's easy. As you can see, it's starting to come off already, right? And I used to be a former model back in the day. There you go. Got another little, did you know, um, as a Mac, Mac Pro makeup artist. And my mom used to be a model too. So she would always say, you wipe up, right up, right? You wipe up, always wipe up, always wipe up, never down. Because you got gravity working, right? We ain't got to try to get gravity, no help. No, indeed. We trying to help ourselves. Hmm? So we know gravity is there. So to counteract that, we just wipe up, right? So now this takes about 20 minutes. You do it twice a week. And I'm telling you, your skin won't be like, huh? Wow, I'm going to love it, All right? So I wipe up. Don't forget your top lip, y'all. For some reason, we be forgetting our top lip. All right. Around your eyes, be super careful. Those capillaries are so delicate. You ever notice allergy season? Allergy season, people have darkness around their eyes because they've been sneezing, 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 and rubbing their eyes, busting up them capillaries, and it's going to turn dark like a bruise. If somebody was to punch you in your eye, God forbid, it would be dark underneath your eyes because those capillaries are broken. So when you're doing your skincare regimen, be careful around your eyes. Be careful around your eyes. So I just gently will take a moist cloth, and this is just cool water. I don't use hot water. Um, some people do. I don't use hot water anymore because that hot water can be very damaging, um, especially if you're in an um, urbanized area because that hot water also carries. Let me tell you why in urban areas hot water is not good, or just in general, for your face. Let me tell you why. Because when you add hot water to your skin, what it does, it opens up your pores. 
and y'all know that the steam opens up your pores, which is a great thing. But sometimes if the water has a lot of contaminants in it, you open up your pores and those contaminants are dropping right in those pores because now you're open. So for like safety and for like hygiene of your health, you may want to consider just using cool water because it doesn't open your pores while you're trying to remove what you got going on. Um, I used to use hot water in my spa in terms of their, uh, I have a steam machine, but that was very little, very little. And that's just to add a serum or, you know, add something extra into the skin. When I want to add something intentionally, I'll use like, you know, like hot water, not hot water, but steam. And that's when I would want to add something into the skin that way. So I just encourage you use warm water if you, if cold water is not your thing, but Try to avoid hot water on your face, especially your face. <laughs> I still like hot showers. I ain't going to lie. <laughs> I'm just going to tell you the truth. <laughs> I don't want to lie to you. All right. So pretty much I removed most of the mask. Make sure you get underneath your chin because sometimes it gets stuck there as well. And at this time, I'm still thanking the universe. Thank you for my beautiful skin. Thank you for my melanin. I'm thinking about my ancestors. A lot of times I think of my ancestors because I have their DNA. And I'm so grateful they gave me their DNA, right? And so I like to thank them. And you see, you don't have to do your, your Thanksgiving one time during the day or at a certain time. You can give thanks any time of the day for anything, for any reason. And so I take my skincare as an opportunity to give thanks to the divine for what she's given me. So, all right, y'all. What y'all think? Uh-oh, I got a little bit on this side. Hold on. How long now? Don't give me your opinion yet, sister. Y'all ain't get it all off. All right. All right, y'all. What y'all think? <laughs> I don't know if my lighting is good, but um, as you can see, it's all. I got a little bit back here, right? And it tones. You see my skin looks a little toned, looks a little tighter, like a muscle. <laughs> That's that bentonite clay. I'm trying to tell you, you don't want to mess around with it because it'll get you straight, right? Look at that. Wow. Wow. Y'all, I've been trying to do something with my hair, y'all. Y'all, y'all, y'all pray for me because I ain't, I ain't want to learn. I ain't want for hair, but hey, we're going to work it out. <laughs> I'm grateful for my hair because my hair is my strength. I, I give thanks to the divine. All right, Mr. Lynn, you say it looks good. Yes. All right, honey. Yes, yes, yes. Let me get my nose ring because you know they can get stuck on there too. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. All right. That feels clean. Yeah. Now it feels clean. Okay, so you can't you can't just do a face mask and not follow up with some moisturizer. Like, no, we gotta moisturize this thing. But first, I want to do one more swoop, one more of one more rinse because I want to make sure I get it all off. And if you don't, you have a little bit of an ashy face. You don't want an ashy face. So, because the clay could leave residue. So I just added clean water to my cloth. Just gonna do another swoop. Another swoop. Just giving thanks to the divine for her love and for allowing me to be alive and to show my face as a melanated woman to show up. Yes, to show up and to be, and share with my brothers and sisters and sisters and brothers on how to take care of ourselves, right? So I'm grateful for all of you. Thank you. Oh, I love living. Thank you. This kid is always beautiful, always. It wasn't used to be that way. I used to have bad acne as an adult. But I also realized my acne was due to mother wounds. It was due to um, deep issues of how I felt about myself, self-esteem, because my skin was so dark. And in my family, the, being the darkest one was like the worst, it was like a death sentence. You were not considered um, part of anything. And it sounds weird, but in some Caribbean traditions, some Caribbean people are like that. Not all, not all. Um, where the lighter you are, the more valuable you are in the family, you know? Um, and the more opportunities, perceived opportunities. So I've had to come a lot of, overcome a lot of self-esteem issues, um, self-love issues, because how I was raised and this skin wasn't a thing of value. So this video is a, it's also a testimony <laughs> of how, how far I've come. And the skin issues I've had, this was because I, I didn't feel beautiful. And that energy was reflected in my skin. I used to have really bad acne on my forehead, on my cheeks. Um, and that's probably why I became a makeup artist, to figure out ways to cover it up. And that's, became, that's the reason I became an esthetician, to figure out how to fix myself. And I promised the divine that if I could fix my skin, I would show others how to do the same thing. 
And 10 years later, I'm still doing, keeping my promise because she has helped me to heal my skin from the inside out, from my thoughts, from my mother wounds, from father wounds, from low self-esteem. Um, and even getting online is, is always an exercise of pulling my self-esteem forward. And it served me very well. So I encourage people to heal themselves as much as they can um, with what they have. Uh, everything you have in your life can be transmuted into a healing experience, everything. So if your mom and that was horrible, take that en energy, turn it around, talk about it, write a book about it, write a blog about it. You know, if you were raped or kidnapped, if you can't take that energy, turn it into something, inform other people, share, advocate, whatever you could do, that's both healing for yourself, as it's been for me and for other people as well. So um, I'm grateful, I'm grateful. So now it's, uh, let me put this so you can see better. Now you can see um, that it's, it's kind of, it's finished, right? But now we need to moisturize because we can't be dry face, dry face. No, 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 no. Have to moisturize. So what I have here, um, I have oily skin, but I still use oil for my skin too so I can do a massage. So now um, if you have cream, you can use a cream or you can make your own cream, shea butter, whatever you want to use that's natural. Um, I'm going to use CBD oil, a little bougie, CBD oil, because I like the way it makes my skin feel, with a drop of tea tree. Tea tree, as you know, is antiseptic. Um, it, it helps to keep your skin clear and clean. Not too much, because it can be strong. So I use just a few drops. One, two, three. I should put it in, I should have put it on my fingertips, because I prefer to use my fingertips. And I'll tell you why you use your fingertips instead of your fingers. I use five drops. Shout out to Shwamika of iCanWorks.org who hooked me up with this oil. I'm going to give you her information because she's an amazing healer. Her CBD products work really well. And I'll use a, top, a drop of tea tree. Just a drop. All right. Now, this is where the massage comes in, right? So we use the palms of our fingers, never our, excuse me, the pads of our fingers, never our palms. I'll tell you why. So you use the pads of your fingers, right? because there's less pressure you're applying to your skin. The palms are very heavy. They're for more heavy duty work. We're not doing that. We're gentle, we're gentle. So I like to start up and I will pull up. Up. And whatever moisturizer you have, just use something natural. Um, you can use shea butter, you can use coconut oil. I find myself using a lot of coconut oil while I'm here. A lot of coconut oil. It just feels good to me. And coconut is actually a very sacred plant. It has so many benefits. It has a medium chain amino acids. It can get down into your skin. It's not too greasy. If you just put it in there, it smells good. Um, it's very healing. It's also antiseptic. Mm -hmm. It's also antiseptic. It helps to build the elasticity of the skin. Elasticity is the part that when you go like that, it bounces back. It bounces back. See? My skin go up, comes back. When we start to lose elasticity, our skin starts to sag a little bit, right? And it happens because we all are um, ascending into another phase of this thing. I'm going to get some more oil. And so we're all going to eventually see that. But if we're taking care of our melanin, because that's why they say black don't crack, <laughs> it's the melanin. If we're taking care of the melanin, like what I talked about with those herbs, the sour saw, go to cola, and sea moss of... Um, then it can slow down that process dramatically, dramatically. Mm -hmm. yep. I love this CBD oil, y'all. Oh, uh, it's good for pain. It's good for tension and stress. Um, and I use it for my face because sometimes, you know, your face can be looking tense. You know, people with their eyebrows like this. Mm, or if you grind your teeth at night, that tension, it helps to relax all of that. And remember, your skin is the largest organ, right? So although I'm putting this on my face, it's giving a relaxing effect on my entire body because it's being absorbed into my skin, that CBD, right? Y'all can make your own CBD oil, y'all. Maybe I'll do a secret um, live for that. Who want to know how to do that? <laughs> y'all can make your own, child. Make your own. Um, that's the other side. That's the y'all got half hours. <laughs> but anyway, um, make sure you get the crevices and be gentle underneath your eyes. Get this area right here because sometimes that gets super dry, especially in the winter time, and it can get dark. Because it's only because it's dehydrated, all right? So you keep rubbing it in until it feels all the way incorporated in. 
Oh, yeah, it's feels so good. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. But I'm always saying prayers. If you've ever been around me, I'm saying prayers or I'm saying thank you for something. And so this is no different. This is no different. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, universe. Thank you. I'm grateful for your love. Thank you for my friends who are watching and those, excuse me, who will watch on the replay. I thank you. Mm -hmm. And voila. That's it. You see? Let me bring the computer closer. Let me move all this stuff out the way. Let me know if y'all have some questions. Let me know. Let's see. Let's see. Hmm? You see that shine? It's not greasy. That's why I like coconut oil. I don't use olive oil. It's a little heavy for my skin. You kind of got to know your skin. But there you go. And the excess mass that you have left over, which I have excess here, what I would do is I will put it in a container. Did I bring my container? No. I'll put it in a container, keep it in the refrigerator for, uh, I don't know what I keep this, five days. So I'll use it one more time and I'll get rid of it. Remember, this doesn't have any preservatives in it. It ain't got no um, nothing to hold it, hold it. And the enzymes of the papaya, after a while, they start to diminish. So maybe for five days, three to five days until your next one. And then I'll throw it away if there's any excess and then I'll start again. So at the beginning of the week, I'll make a batch do it and then i will discard the rest if there's any but i really have much left over or i'll share with my husband or i'll share with my baby because he likes it on his feet and you know all kind of stuff like that so we'll make it a family thing but you can use anytime you can use this any part of your body um your chest your back one of the things we did at my spa we had back facials because a lot of people may have like acne on their back um irritation on their back use this for your back um but remember Every time we see something on the skin, on the face, depending on where it's located, depending on where it can tell you what organ might be struggling. Let's do a little review before we go, okay? Why not? Okay, so when we are seeing things on the chin, jawline here, like bumps, um, hyperpigmentation, which are just dark marks, we know that there's some hormonal issues going on. Women, is your body, your, your ovaries, your uterus is asking for your attention. If it's excess hair or it's just a lot of bumps or just hyperpigmentation, that's saying, oh, oh, lower chakra, root chakra, sacral chakra needs your attention. That's what that means here, right? When we see things show up on the cheek, predominantly here, bumps, darkness, we are looking at digestive issues. It can be any type of digestive issues from Crohn's disease to diarrhea to constipation. You're going to see it here, digest digestion. And again, it could be dark marks excess hair. It can be anything. But if it's pronounced and it's on the cheek, yes. Now, if it's on the right cheek versus the left cheek, it'll tell us another story, but you got to take my class to figure that out. Underneath the eyes, there's so many reasons why we can have darkness underneath the eyes. But speaking in terms of organs, we can generally say that this is the kidneys, right? Kidneys, something's going on with the kidneys. We don't know what yet, but it needs our attention. If it's puffy, if it's dark, if power is showing up, Ooh, let's look at the kidneys. Now, when we look at the kidneys, we got to look at the heart because they're our brother and sister. So if the kidneys are having issues, then we know we have to look at the heart. You can be your own doctor. And I'm not saying you shouldn't go to a physician. I'm not saying you shouldn't go to someone who has knowledge. I'm not saying that at all. But you are your high, you and your highest self know you better than anybody know you from a textbook. Believe me. And your body will always give you indications of what's going on and what needs your love and attention. And so you can look at your face and what's going on on your face to say, okay, this needs attention. What's going on with this organ? And then we can find the energy that's impacting that organ. But that's a whole nother thing, y'all. Let's continue going. Here in this area, uh, mainly the, the liver. You see here, the liver has over 500 functions. So while I'm saying this can be the liver, the liver can show up here. The liver definitely impacts the hormones that are here as well. Right. So these are some things that you can keep in mind for you and your family or your clients or just yourself. Just to be aware. How are you showing up in the world? What is it that desires your divine attention? Right. Looking at your face can tell you that um, acne shows up when the blood needs to be cleansed. It can be the physical blood that's flowing through our bodies and through our veins right now that needs to be cleansed. So we have a blood and cleanse. We have a Jamaican blood and cleanser detox on our website, soultribeheals.com. Get your blood cleaned up. Acne on the shoulders, on the back. I saw a lady today at the market. She was, her arms like covered in sores. And I'm like, oh gosh, if I just could just, if I don't know, you know, I ain't trying to just run up on nobody. I was like, man, our tea would be great for that. Cause that would clear all of that up, right? 
and that has a lot to do with the liver. So acne, your blood needs to be clean. Your blood is not clean. Eczema, your digestion needs your support. No matter where eczema shows up, your digestion and your diet needs to be adjusted, right? But we can see all of this from the skin. Our skin is a reflection of what's going on on the inside. When it's bright and radiant, hopefully mine is now, it can give you an indication of the energy that's flowing through me. But if it looks dismal, if it looks dark, if it looks um, patchy, it doesn't look clear, it looks dusty, it's also telling you what's going on on the inside. It's not a judgment, but it's a diagnosis for ourselves, right? So we can use our skin as a tool to help us to stay well. Even if we don't know exactly what's going on, it can give us a guideline to say, okay, kidneys, let me find, a, let me find some herbs for kidneys or let me find out what am I worrying about? Kidneys deal with the emotion of worry. Hmm? So if your childhood was difficult or you're in a difficult situation, a marriage, relationship, or job, your kidneys will feel it because those little beings that sit on top of the kidneys are your adrenals. They deal with fight or flight. They deal with thriving and surviving. So our bodies are always teaching us something about ourselves and our skin is just a map. Um, so yeah, that's all I wanted to say, y'all. I wanted to thank you so much for um, joining me and for your participation and your questions. This was fun. I got a chance to do my phase and share with you. Uh, I want to come and show you some other things that I do naturally that I already have on hand to take care of myself and my family. Because look, we can't be running to the store and getting stuff because there's a shortage of stuff. People can't find food. People can't find medicine. What are we going to do? We're going to go to our ancestors where we should be anyway. And we're going to ask for that wisdom to help us to sustain ourselves because that's what it's there for. So I'm grateful. I'm grateful for you. Thank you all for liking, sharing, and subscribing. I, I really appreciate it. I hope this information and um, this demonstration was helpful to you. Uh, send us a message at info at Soul Tribe Hills if you have any questions. Uh, but take care of yourself. Love yourself. Love up on yourself. And if you're not feeling it when you're doing your ritual, I love me. I love me. My name is Sankara, y'all. So I say, I love you, Sankara. I love you. I love you, Sankara. I love you. 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 Every day. Every day. No matter what's going on. Every day. That's how you can magically infuse your life with magic. And you don't have to work so hard at this thing. Make it a part of your life. So thank you, everyone. Uh, I look forward to uh, sharing more with you in the future. And I appreciate your time today. Visit us at Soul Tribe Hills for your Caribbean herbs. And until next time, I'll see you later. Bye-bye. Thank you.